welcome. So in this lecture, we want to address a circumstance where both of the bounds are infinite. And you can really just kind of break this into what we've already done so far. So if, so that's kind of the question is, what about if both bounds are infinite? So if both, we have that the integral from a to infinity of f of x dx and we have that the integral from minus infinity to a of f of x dx Okay, so if both this one and this one are convergent, then we have that uh, this integral, so we can just add these two together, right? Which is kind of what you would expect because it, it works like that um, when these are finite. Okay, so if I just want to take, so the integral from minus infinity, oops, that's a mistake. So if we go from minus infinity to infinity of f of x dx, we just want to add those two integrals, okay? So this is going to equal, so first I go from, I'm just going to, and then this integral. Okay, so I'm going to start with minus infinity, and I'm going to end with infinity, and then these a's are going to match up. This a is going to match up with that a, and then the function is going to be the same for both of them. Okay, and this is where A could be absolutely anything. So where A could be anything. Okay, so here's a question for you. which is, can we use this for the integral from minus infinity to infinity of one over, oh, sorry, uh, this should be one over x squared ds. Okay, so can we just break it apart like that um, and the answer is no, because this is not even defined at zero, okay? So the answer is no. So you actually need that your function is defined on the whole interval, okay? So no, because f of x equals 1 over x squared is not defined at zero. Okay, so, so as long as these are both convergent and um, your function is actually kind of defined on the interval, so as long as these are both convergent, um, then we can actually take this sum to get this integral like this, okay? Uh, but watch out that your function is actually defined, um, you know, on your whole interval, okay? Great, so I hope this made some sense. And I will see you in the next lecture.